Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talks with Tina, where we are pursuing our most true and authentic self by what? <laughs> oh, uncovering our roots, y'all. It's I've had enough. This is not a fake ponytail, by the way. I just switched it over like it is. Um, <laughs> but anywho, I feel like I always say say this now because I really be taking long breaks from Talks with Tina, but. I've been gone for too long. Now it's time I bring it back. Uh-huh. That's what I said. Anywho, in the spirit of getting straight to the point, today's topic is heal in private. And let me tell y'all something. I always say these topics, like, they hit me first. They are, they hit home because they are home first. And then I release it to y'all. Sorry, something is shutting up. <coughs> Bother my throat. But this topic for sure is hitting me right in the in the kisser um so y'all know i get through my transparent moment first and then we're gonna make it make sense how do we apply it to your life so on and so forth so in the last few weeks i've been dealing with something that has truly been requiring me to heal in private um but i was met with my own insecurities again when I wanted to include everybody in this and that's that's just really the reality of it um y'all know i struggle with validation and i don't think that's even yeah i think if i'm going to be completely honest with myself that's really all that i was seeking was validation from those that i you know contacted and so this issue that i'm dealing with um everything is perfectly fine <laughs> like this may sound so crazy but everything is perfectly fine as of now and it's just that portion of me that was like oh my like you get overwhelmed and you're just like everybody hey how you doing hey this is what i'm going through look at this um send some positive vibes my way prayers sing your prayers positive vibes anything you can but ultimately i know everything is going to be okay um and that's kind of where this topic stems from again, is that I was seeking validation in my subconscious. I was really just overwhelmed having that moment of just being down and I needed support and comfort when all actuality, all I needed to do was just take a moment to myself and process, be with myself and be with my emotions. And healing in private is like, I feel like it's one of the most crucial steps in the healing journey. And I don't know how I didn't make this video sooner, but I feel like it's appropriate for my life right now. Um, so how do we full circle this? How do we make it make sense to your life? Um, sometimes when we are going through this journey, we want to include people who are ultimately not meant to journey with us, right? And so we get through our phases, our faces, you know, take us everywhere. We are often sheltered in. Then we go through a depression. Then we go through a phase of where we just want everybody else involved. And that's where I went. I had a few phases like that, honestly, where I didn't want nobody involved. And I want everybody involved. And then I was like, Ooh, go back in your shelter because now everybody's too far in your business. But guess what? You made your business public. So now they rightfully have the right to be in your business. So, <laughs> um, whatever journey you're going through, I think it's just really important to those hard steps. And it's hard, like it's like mean as that sounds, like you really have to go through those things by yourself. Because guess what? If you prematurely expose your pain, then you can't expect sympathy from an issue you've made public. So, what I mean by that is, if you know, for instance, I literally just said this, I know everything is going to be okay. I know I'm going to be fine. I know I'm great. But it's the fact that I prematurely exposed something that ultimately was not even meant to be told to anybody. And then I probably told it to people who aren't meant to be on this journey with me. And so now what do I have? <laughs> I'm, I'm met by the by people not meeting the expectations that only I know that they're supposed to hold. And now if I go back to Talks with Tina episode, I don't know how many, but the episode is called Release the Expectations. It says do not hold people to the expectations that, no, 
do not hold yourself to the expectations that other people have of you and do not hold other people to the expectations that you have of them because nine times out of ten they are going to fall short of what you are expecting them to do so what I was seeking was people to validate my own my own feelings like I wanted somebody to reassure me that yes everything is going to be okay when ultimately I know that right and so nine times out of ten all those people fell short because all they did was just send me into a bigger spur of panic right and I can't expect sympathy from ex prematurely exposing pain to some people who were not even meant to journey with me right and so that's what my issue is, is that sometimes we prematurely expose our pain. And when we prematurely expose our pain, we expose ourselves to things that we probably were not ready for. There's probably portions of your journey that you were not ready to encounter. You weren't ready for people to be all in your business. You weren't ready for people to be so close knit to what you're going through. Because when you get out of whatever you're going through, you know you're going to be okay right <laughs> so then you have those people like oh well she said she was depressed why is she not depressed no more hmm? why is she not depressed no more or she said that homeboy was in her bed last night like you know like it's just people who are not meant to be there like i guess i want to hone in on that you are prematurely exposing your pain to people who are not meant to journey with you and so when you prematurely expose your pain to people who are not meant to journey with you these people hold tight to certain parts of your journey and then guess what they hold you to that expectation they're going to hold you to when you were weak. They're going to hold you to when you didn't know your worth. They're going to hold you to when you didn't know your purpose. They're going to hold you to when you didn't value yourself. They're going to hold you to when you felt like you were at your end. And some people don't feel sad for you. Some people are glad that you are in this space. Some people are happy that you don't see what's on the other side of this when you know you're going to be okay. But it's just here you're trying to find out if they meet you in the middle where you know you're going to be okay. And you want them to validate that and reassure you of something that you already know is on the other side. So I guess, how do we full circle this? How do we make sense to your life? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> and if that's not a lesson I learned so hard in these last few weeks, shut your mouth. Because when you expose your pain to other people, those people are not going to feel sympathy for you. Some people are going to be happy that you were in this place. They're not going to even see this other side because all they see is this middle ground that you wanted them to meet you at. But guess what? There's this expectation that only you've had, which is this middle ground that they fell short on. And guess where they're short on? This side where they're happy. <sighs> God. God. <laughs> Y'all, I just... And it's not to say that everyone is going to be happy that you're you're not on this side. It's just that people are not going to understand that you are going to make it to this side. Because people are only going to know that you're stuck here. Because you prematurely exposed some pain that you know is going to be okay. You know you're going to make it out of it. Or not even pain. Just the area in your journey that you were meant to heal in private. And, um, oh, excuse my words. An area of your journey that you were only supposed to deal with by yourself and that doesn't mean like by yourself as in you literally have to just crawl in a hole and be by yourself but it's a moment where you need to take part of your journey and say i made it out of this and only a select few people probably know of this but <laughs> those people know how far I've, I've journeyed that pain when that pressure was put on me to make it out of that pain i did it right and so those people can gladly meet me on this side and they met me in the middle and they met me here they met me here here and here they met me on the full spectrum because they were meant to be on my journey but those people who i prematurely exposed my pain to didn't know how to handle it and so now they only know me as this people are only going to know you as weak people are only going to know you as sad people are only going to know you as Oh, uh, well, she looks strong, <laughs> you know, because we, we put on that fake facade sometimes. But they're only going to know you as this one version and they won't see you as you make it through the spectrum or make make it through whatever you're going through. If you're going through a weight loss journey, people are only going to know you when you when you big or people are going to know you when you're super skinny. So when you get super thick, they're going to be like, wait, when you're going through a healing journey, people are only going to know you when you're broken. 
People are only going to be used to you on when you don't know your worth. People are only going to be used to you when you put out all your business thinking that everybody has your best intentions in mind. When you're going through your business, building your business, people are only going to know when you're begging you begging them to share your posts. And they're going to say, oh, she, her business ain't going to make it nowhere. But they're not going to see you through the different phases that you're going to go through.